Hi, everyone. Hi. <laughs> this is Yashua. Hi. Hi. And this is Arani. Hi. 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 I'm just making sure. Can we? Is there a way to switch it so it's just on him, or does it switch back and forth? It'll switch back and forth to the right. Okay. Oh, that makes sense. Well, hi guys. Thank you so much for being here. Yashua, after reading your story from Scholastic News, uh, Far From Home, we were so interested in your story that the students just kept asking questions about it over and over, and it was so cool. So we thought we would, we're so glad to have this chance to ask you questions now. Después de leer tu historia en la Scholastic, en Far Away, la historia es Far Away From Home, los niños están muy excitados de hacer preguntas. Okay. okay. <laughs> He's so shy right now. <laughs> we understand. Well, this is the fifth and sixth grade class of Colton Pierpont. Hey, stop. Don't worry about that. Okay, I'm sorry. They, we wrote down a question so they know where we're at. So that's why we're fumbling with paper. Esta clase es una clase de seis grado que va a hacer las preguntas. Great. Um, yes. So we welcome you. Is it okay if we start asking questions? Está bien que empieza a hacer las preguntas. Sí. sí. <laughs> yes. Great. All right. We have number one. Okay. Hi, Ashwa. I'm Alan, and I was wondering what life was like in Honduras. ¿Cómo fue tu vida en Honduras? Pero fue una cosa buena. Una cosa Habla mala. duro para que ya te pueda escuchar. Fue una cosa buena, una cosa mala, pero mi vida no fue tan buena en Honduras. My life was so so in Honduras. Um, it had its good time, but my life was also um, really hard. I had really hard parts in Honduras. Wow. Um, mi vida fue un poco dura. Hubieron momentos bonitos, otros malos. Cuando mi papi se vino, esos momentos fueron duros. Pues, sí tuve momentos bonitos y malos, tú entiendes, ¿verdad? She said I had beautiful moments and also really sad moments, like when my father left to come to the United States. So I had, um, you know, I was there. But, you know, I do remember some beautiful times that I had there in Honduras. But things started getting worse. Um, I'm moving and I was wondering if there is anyone or anything that you miss about Honduras. I miss my grandfather and my grandmother. Me too. Mi abuela y mi abuelo, grandmother, grandfather, my sister, my brother. Did everybody understand that? Yes, definitely. <laughs> um, <laughs> How is the culture different here than the culture in Honduras? La cultura. Honduras. Okay, la diferencia en que hay aquí es que en Honduras nosotros, por ejemplo, teníamos con muchas personas a hablar por cualquier lado y aquí no porque hay, por ejemplo las personas hablan inglés y nosotros español diferente música hay muchas cosas diferentes todo eso she said the language um, one of the culture there like you could just go around and you talk to everybody and it's very free um, because you know everybody spoke my language and here because we don't speak English and they don't speak Spanish so it kind of like divides us so we don't really you know have a lot but there's a lot of different like food and a lot of different uh, music, so that's what brings you know a little bit of different arguments. <laughs> Yasha said, "No, I don't know what else he said at all." <laughs> <laughs> Katie. Sorry. Hi, Yasha. I'm Katie. What was school like in Honduras? ¿Cómo fue la escuela en Honduras? Hola, hola, Katie. Hi, Katie. <laughs> hey, hi. Hey. La escuela en Honduras fue diferente aquí porque allá salimos más temprano, allá tenemos más clases. 
Tú estás hablando todo Honduras, güey, habla más. La escuela en Honduras fue más diferente porque tenemos, salimos más temprano, teníamos más, más clases, era como, teníamos hasta un tiempo para jugar con nuestros amigos, como jugar un soccer. He said um, the school is a little bit, is a lot different because we would leave like at midday, so we had like we had more classes, but they learned different um, the subjects, and we had like a lot of recess where like we were able to play a full game of soccer during our you know our recess time. Wow, that is different. Amanda. Um, I wanted to know why was your mother in the U.S. Was it hard to be without her? ¿Cómo se diste como tu papi en tu mami llegaste para acá? ¿Cómo lo sentimos cuando miramos otra vez a nuestro? No, cuando ellos llegaron, cuando ellos te dejaron allá para venir para acá. ¿Cómo se dice madre? Mother? Madre. Oh, bad. Bad. I feel bad when my mom is coming here. Because I am um, by myself. By myself with my brother. That would be hard. Yeah. That would be tough. Mm -hmm. Okay, también me sentí sola porque mi papi se vino y nos dejó a nosotros y solo quedamos nosotras tres. Y en eso empezó todo lo malo en Honduras, la delincuencia, todo eso. Entonces nos sentíamos totalmente solas. Nosotros llorábamos por mi papá. Oh. So, um, Yasha said, because I felt alone, you know, because my mom left me there with my brother. So I didn't, he, um, he doesn't have his father there because she was a single mother. So he felt very alone not having her there to support him. And a rainy uh, father left to come here and left her with her sister and her mother. So she said right around the time when he left is when um, a lot of um, bad things started happening in my country. And we didn't have, like, you know how your daddy protects the house and protects us, so we would cry a lot and would miss our, you know, my father. Um. Sorry about the bell. Um, okay. Laura. Hi, Ashua. Can you tell us about the journey, your journey to the U.S.? Were you scared? Did you ever feel like you weren't going to make it? Let's see. I don't miss. There we go. Hey. Hey, Can you hear Hello? us? Hello? Yep. Can you hear us? Yes, definitely. Okay. Thank you. All right. I'm sorry, we missed the last young lady call. The question. Yeah. Can you tell us about your journey to the U.S.? Were you scared? Did you ever feel like you weren't going to make it? Puede ser tu, cómo fue tu viaje para acá y si alguna vez tú estaba teniendo miedo o sentiste que no íbamos a llegar. Oh. <ríe> oh, mi viaje fue, no fue lo muy agradable, fue muy feo porque cuando nosotros veníamos los primeros días sí podían sí bien, no daban comida, todo eso, pero cuando llegamos al DF, el El guiante nos dejó botadas y nosotros no sabíamos qué hacer. Sentimos mucho miedo porque estábamos en un país fuera que no era de nosotros, sin comer. 
por ejemplo, venía con mi hermanita yo, y mi hermanita se puso mal, se puso bastante delgada. Eh. She said, um, in the beginning of our journey, um, it was really, um, it was okay, it wasn't so bad, like, we had a guide that would give us food and that would tell us where we had to go, but after um, a couple of days, the guide left us, and he left us stranded, and we were in a country where we did not know anything about that country, and um, my, I have a little sister, and my little sister started getting really sick, and we had nothing to eat, and we had no way of getting money. So it was really, really hard um, at the end of the journey, and it wasn't nothing pretty. Sounds very hard. I can't imagine. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. ¿Y tú? Hi. Mi viaje fue muy duro porque cuando yo venía aquí, en uh, una ocasión que miramos a los Zetas, ellos nos querían secuestrar, pero nosotros nos escondimos una parte, a veces como, no sé por qué parte era, pero atrás del DF. Pero yo sentía mucho miedo porque esos caminos son duros y nosotros veníamos sin guía después como de, de, después de, empezando México. So he said, my journey was very scary. Um, when you cross, it, it's not like taking a vacation. When you cross, um, you have to pass path um, with no adult guide. And in some of those areas, there's some very um, hard gangs, and those gangs are trying to bring bad things into the United States. So they kidnap people that are doing that and force them to do things. So we saw them. We saw them kidnapping people, and we had to hide because we did not want to be kidnapped to, to do those things. So that was, you know, really hard, and I was really scared going through that. Um, it's a little bit off of where, like, her guide left her, but, you know, we felt very scared. You both are so brave for what you went through. I, I just can't imagine. It's hard for us to comprehend it. And do you guys, do you feel brave? Te siente orgulloso y así que, así que tú pasaste por mucho, muchas cosas que no tenía tiene que pasar. Yes. Yes, they do. Quiet. I think Wyatt may have, you may have answered this question already, but I'll have Wyatt ask it. Okay. I'm Wyatt. Um, when you read in the article that your dad left you, how did you feel? ¿Cómo sentiste cuando el guía te dejó así? ¿Tú sabías que los guías te iban a dejar? So we, I asked them if they felt that if, if they knew in the beginning of this journey that their guide would leave them, or, you know, were they expecting that? And they were like, no, we weren't expecting that. ¿Cómo pensaba que iba a ser tu viaje? ¿Tú sabías que iba a ser duro? No, pero no, yo sabía cuando empecé yo sabía que iba a ser duro porque es un camino peligroso México y Guatemala, pero cuando me dejó el guía fue más duro porque tenía que tenía que caminar por lugares que no sabía dónde era. So he said, um, I said, did, I asked him, do you think that did you know beginning this journey that it was going to be a hard trip or did you expect it to be an easy trip? And he said, we knew that it was going to be a hard trip from the beginning. But we felt that we were going to have somebody that was going to show us the way. But when they left us, we had to walk in dangerous areas like in um, Guatemala and Mexico where there's a lot of gang territory and we didn't know we were just going to have to be, you know, to fend for ourselves. And um, Rainy had her mother and her 11-year-old um, sister with her. But that was also really hard because, you know, the things that they do, young girls in that pathway was very scary for her. Amazing, you guys made it. I'm Noah. Hi, I'm Noah. How did it feel to finally cross the border? How did it feel to finally cross the border? How did it feel to finally cross the border? How did it feel to finally cross the border? How did it feel to finally cross Toda la diferencia que hay entre este país, entre, entre nosotros, entre nosotros, el lenguaje. Eh, pero también sí me sentí feliz porque volví a ver a mi papi, lo volví a ver, lo volví a abrazar. Eh, 
She said, in the beginning, I was very scared. Um, it was very different. You can see the visual difference of my country and the United States. But at the end of that, you know, after going through that scare, I was finally able to hug my daddy, and I was able to kiss him and know that I was going to be okay. okay. I feel very excited because excited, excited because I want I I want I quería ver a mi mamá. I wanted to see my mom. I was very excited because I wanted to see my mom and abrazarla and hug her. Porque tenía diez años de no verla. Because I had um, it had been ten years since I had seen her. Wow, two years. And how long after you got you came across the border? Um, how much longer after was it before you got to see her? Tiempo después que te tardaste en la hilera que te quedaron ya dentro hasta que tú puedes ver tu mamá y tu papi. One month. One month for Yashua. Y tú? De la hilera. Bueno, como cinco. Um, and Arani was five weeks. A month and a week. Wow. Um, Michael. Hi, Ashua. I'm Michael. Were you scared when the Border Patrol arrested you? Or were you expecting that to happen? And how were you treated? Y como te trataron. Que tu espectara tenia miedo y como te trataron. Nos patrullas de liberación. Como te sentiste cuando te agarraron? Si tenía miedo y como que tratar, entonces tú estabas expectando que yo se iba a agarrar. Eh, yo me sentí muy mal, no sentía miedo, pero el trato que, el que nos dieron en la hielera fue malo, porque nos castigaban solo porque mirábamos como una entrada como esa, eh, nos ponían con las manos para arriba, eh, media hora, 20 minutos, una hora. Said, um, I wasn't scared because all I wanted to be was with my mom, but I was scared um, after because they treated us like really hard criminals. We had to keep our hands up at times for like 30 minutes to 20 minutes at a time in the air. And the place where we were held at, they call it El Elera, which means refrigerator, because it was really, really cold. Yo estuve las cinco semanas, estuve con la misma ropa, toda mojada, en la hielera estuve como dos semanas, she said, um, I was there five weeks, and the entire five weeks that I was there, I still had on the same clothes that I had on. They didn't give me any new clothes. I didn't have any new clothes. And I was in the elero, in the refrigerator, for two weeks, punished um, for crossing. Okay, so um, if we were to look out the window, like we wanted just to see outside because we couldn't tell if it was day or night, and when we would look out the window, we would get punished for that. So they would cover the windows, and then they would put the air even colder, and you know, so we felt really bad. And um, um, us asleep in the ground. They slept on the floor. Of the um, of the detention center, and, and he said it was concrete and it was like pointing like rocks, like sleeping on rocks. And to um, clarify, this was all after you crossed the U.S. border, is that correct? Yeah, this is inside of the detention center in the United States. This is how um, once they're come in, they don't have like beds, like jail probably for them wouldn't be because they're in jail they have a bed but they were sleeping on pure concrete in a very cold atmosphere um, they weren't adjusted to food but they were giving sandwiches that they normally like didn't eat they didn't have like hot hot food um, but for two weeks a rainy slept on a concrete floor and Yash also slept on the floor like and it was very cold condition because in their country they don't experience cold cold weather and it's really um, was a really a shock to their system. Process that. Um, Max. Hello, Yashua. Um, why did you want to come to the United States? Me quería venir para Estados Unidos. Me quería venir para poder superarme. 
y para estar con mi mamá. I wanted to better my life and also I wanted to be with my mom. Yo me vine para Estados Unidos porque quería superarme porque la pobreza de Honduras es bastante dura y no hay oportunidades como hay aquí y también quería volver a abrazar y volver a ver a mi papá. So, um, Arani said, um, I wanted to better my life because Honduras and the poverty is really, really bad and there's not a lot of opportunity for, for me to do better um, in my life and um, I also wanted to just hug my daddy. Uh -huh. And since I was a little girl, my mother always told me that the United States is a place of a lot of opportunities. Yo me vine porque en Honduras no tenía papá, él nos dejó y mamá, ella era la única que nos apoyaba. Ella, yo me vine para que, porque en Honduras gastaba más, porque en Honduras todo es caro, todo, todo, la economía es más caro, todo es caro y el trabajo es bajo. Y me vine porque ella siempre ha luchado por nosotros. So in Honduras, um, because my father um, abandoned us, we really didn't have um, a lot. So it was really hard because everything is really expensive. And so there we were going without and my mother, she always was the one that always fought to make sure we have everything. So, you know, being with her, we felt more safer. You had said that um, there was a lot of opportunity here, but after when you first got here, how you were treated, did you still feel that like you were going to have a lot of opportunity? Uh, tú dijiste que hay bastante oportunidades aquí, o tu mamá siempre te dijo que hay bastante oportunidades, y que tú sabes esto más, cuando lo primero entró aquí en este estado, ¿tú sentiste que esta oportunidad, o te sentiste diferente como era mentira, o como entiende la, lo que tú estabas pasando? No. Sí, mi mami me decía de pequeña que si este país tiene bastante oportunidad, oportunidades, y si yo vine a este país también, porque por lo que dije, me falté feliz. Sí, cuando entré aquí, miré que es un país de bastantes oportunidades, pero no más que hay que luchar para llegar a hacer lo que deseamos. She said, um, you know, I know that um, when I came in, you know, I believe when my mom told me that this is a country of a lot of opportunity and that it was just something that we had to go through and we had to fight, like, um, with our spirit because we know that um, you know, if I keep going through whatever I'm going through, it's just to make me better, so I can better myself. Wow. That's amazing to feel that at such a young age. Um, Landon? Hi, Yashua. What do you want? I'm sorry, Landon, can I stop here for a second? It's Yashua and Arani? Yes. Okay, so we'll start saying hi to Yashua and Arini. <laughs> she was about to start crying. She was about to start crying. She's like, wait. <laughs> what do you want to be when you grow up? Uh -huh. Doctor? A doctor? Doctor. Yeah. Yes. She wants to be a psychologist, psychiatrist, and he wants to be a doctor. That's awesome. Seems like what you guys have already been through, you can definitely become anything you want. Josh? Hi, Arshua. Now that you are here, are things better for you? Do you feel safer? Uh, ahora que ustedes están aquí, pues ustedes se sienten más seguros. Eh, sí podemos sentirnos seguros, pero porque el peligro está en cualquier lado, no solo en Honduras. En cualquier rincón hay, hay peligro. Y sí me siento segura aquí también. She said, I feel safer than compared to the crime that was happening in Honduras. But we do understand too that everywhere we go there's crime, um, but I do feel much safer here, um, you know, than I did in Honduras. Sí, me siento un poco más seguro, pero como 
me sentía un poco inseguro en Honduras porque no tenía alguien como con quien platicar con mi mamá que mi mamá es diferente por práctica me siento más seguro aquí pero también aquí hay delincuencia pero no es tan dura igual que en Honduras um you said I feel safer here because at least like if I'm in danger I can go and talk to my mom and you know she will you know let me know what's going on but in Honduras it was more like being targeted and you know like the, the crime will hit you even if you were not doing anything bad and here it's a little bit different but you know um, I feel much safer here. Um, Henry. Hi Ashua and Arani. Arani, how are your <laughs> brother and sisters liking here? Are they adjusting well? And her, and her family as well. Yeah, Arani's okay. sister. Tu hermana Reini y tu hermano se le están gustando aquí en Estados Unidos. Sí, le gusta a mí porque aquí tiene libertad para ir a poder jugar al campo, puede hacer cosas que en Honduras no podía hacer por miedo a ir. My brother likes it here because he's able to go, you know, go run to the park and go play where like in Honduras he wasn't able to leave out to just go play outside because of the gangs that we had there. Oh, mi hermanita también se siente muy feliz, le dice algunas veces a mi mami, ay, a mi papi, gracias papi por traerme aquí, porque allá en Honduras vivía como en peligro, y porque sí, en Honduras no podíamos salir ni a cualquier lado, porque como los, las maras estaban demasiado fuertes, la colonia la iban tomado, todo eso, y mi hermanita solo vivía en tristeza allá en Honduras, porque tenía mucho miedo, ya no quería seguir yendo a la escuela, so she said, my little sister is very happy. She said she's constantly like hugging my daddy and my mom and saying, you know, thank you for, for, for having me here. And that um, in Honduras, it was really hard because the gang in my area was getting worse and worse. And my sister was always depressed and really sad. And now here she's you know, smiling and she's really happy just to be here. And in Honduras, she, was, she didn't want to go to school because it was so bad for her to leave the house. And now she's really happy and you know, making really good grades. Wow. That's good. And Yashua, um, Yashua brother and Arani sister, they're the same age, they're both 11, and they're like in the same school, so they are, um, they love just, you know, like bubbly and, and just really great little youth that just love to just talk and chat and have all kind of bright ideas, and so they are, you know, like, I'm really excited, and they're doing really good, like, Arani has a 4.0 grade point average in wow. high school right now, and so does Yashua, so they have really good grades because they're taking it very, very serious here in school, so I'm very proud of them for that. That is amazing. Congratulations, you guys. We need to give them a round of applause. That is awesome, guys. Um, uh, uh, Mason. Hi, Ashley and Randy. Has it been easy to make friends here, and do you know if they're discriminated against? Um, si es fácil de hacer amistad aquí y si es alguna vez fuera discriminado. Sí, es bueno, un poco fácil porque como hay muchas personas que son de nuestro país que hablan nuestro idioma también, pero nosotros también queremos ser amigos de su, las personas que hablan su idioma porque son, de más, son bastante agradables, todo eso. Y sí vivimos en escuela, por ejemplo, el bullying, porque como somos inmigrantes, todo eso, y hablamos diferente idioma, y nos hacen a un lado, nos discriminan, todo eso. She said it's been easy to make friends because of a lot of the kids that are recently arrived that speaks my language. So there's a lot of young people in my school that speaks my language. And so we are friends and it's really easy to make friends. We also, um, I also want to make friends with kids that speak your language and that, um, but it's really hard because they push us aside and then they put us you know, in, this, in this area where we really don't communicate. So I have been bullied um, in that aspect where they don't want to friend me, but I want to get to know them so bad and sometimes it's really hard. Para mí fue fácil hacer amistades. 
Pero sí, me, a veces nos sentimos discriminados como lo que pasa en las clases, en la escuela, porque a veces cuando uno va a contestar o quiere contestar, y si uno, aunque sea, uno está aprendiendo y si uno se equivoca, ellos se burlan de uno porque uno no, no contesta bien. So, um, he said that it's easy for me to make friends, I like to make friends, but um, we do feel, or I felt discriminated because, you know, I try to be involved and I try to ask questions, so if I raise my hand in class and I try to say something, then the other kids will laugh or make fun of you. So then it would make, you know, us feel bad and that, um, you know, it makes us not want to talk, so it, it makes it harder. I'm so sorry you guys feel that way in your classrooms with yes. other students that should be your peers. Yeah, ¿cuánto te sientes eso con los um, jóvenes? Y los maestros, ¿cómo te los maestros. los maestros, no, los maestros no están tan bien. ¿Trata bien? Sí. He said that, you know, the teachers treat us well. You know, sometimes we just have to understand how the other children treat siempre, us. Siempre se ríen cuando yo les hablo porque a veces yo les digo la palabra que les digo. Dígale. Dígale. <laughs> so, Yasha, um, he likes to have fun with his teacher. And even though he understands a lot of English, and you know how we like to pull and pranks on our teacher, Yashua created like the mix of English and Spanish together. So he greets his teacher with, Pomola, how are you doing? And it's half, um, and the teacher's like, that's not how you, oh, how, how do, wait, he's going to say it for you because only he can say it because this is his, so how do you say it? Pomola, how are you doing a la people? Pomola, how are you doing a la people? So that's how. He likes to greet his teachers, and the teachers like keep telling him that's not how you say it, and he just likes because it's a way of him joking of saying how are you doing today. But he makes the Spanish and English, and then um, all of his friend now greets all of our staff here. With, <laughs> how you doing, a la people? So we're you know, that's just, that is just special thing. Yeshua, it seems like you have a very good sense of humor. Which is so That's great. Uh, los profesores sí nos tratan muy bien y solo el bullying es con los muchachos de escuela porque nos discriminan por nuestra forma de hablar, por nuestra forma de ser. Sí es cierto que cuando estamos en una clase nosotros queremos responder, pero yo ya no respondo porque algunos se ríen de mí, porque tal vez yo doy el esfuerzo y ellos se... Yeah. She said, my teacher treats me very, very well, but I, re I don't answer questions aloud in class anymore because the kids would just like like to pick that and use that and laugh at us, so it makes me feel bad. So I just try and think about the answer in my head, but I don't answer aloud anymore in class. Wow. Do you have any advice for that? That's me. When I was little, I used to be bullied like that, too, because I was so smaller than everyone. And the teacher told, well, the teacher told me that I should raise my hand and see, and try to try figure, yeah, to try to figure out how I could do this and not let them, not let them get to me. Entonces dijo, yo también cuando yo estaba en la escuela, yo era más chiquita que todos, entonces también me hacía bullying, más mi maestro dijo, siempre sigue levantando la mano para que ellos te escuchan, para que ellos no te caigan. Ese es el consejo que te da. Gracias. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Teddy, 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 ¿Por qué tú quieres contar tu historia? ¿Por qué es importante contar tu historia? Porque así los demás, las demás personas tienen, no, para que no tengan miedo las demás, los demás niños a, a, a compartir su historia, que no tengan miedo porque ellos a veces tienen miedo porque ellos piensan que los pueden deportar o algo les puede pasar, pero no les pasa nada. He said the reason why, um, you asked why it's important for him to share his story or why they share their story. Yeah, um, so the, he said that it's important because other people get to learn and then they don't be scared of who they are and then they, we can learn from each other. 
and and but you know he understand that some people get scared to share. Y tú, yo, qué importante es tu historia. Creo, creo que es importante para que demostremos a las otras personas que nosotros no somos no somos malas personas, somos buenas y solo venimos a buscar un buen futuro para nosotros. She said, we just, we also share, I also share my story so people get to know who I am. And then they don't, you know, they don't hear like other things people tell them that we're bad and we're here to do bad things. We're just here to get, you know, a good opportunity and a good education so then people get to know who I am. And that's why I have to tell my story. Great answer. That was great. Um, Billy? Hi, Joshua. Hi, Irene. Why my others want to hide their story? Por qué los otros niños con de su historia no le habla? Por miedo a que se pueda escuchar en un durajo, porque eso lo puede perjudicar su vida o la vida de sus seres queridos. So he said, um, some of them are scared um, to tell their story. One, because they're scared that the people that were trying to do them harm in Honduras will find out where they are at. So they don't, you know, they get really scared. Um, and two, that maybe sharing their story, it could be held against them in court and, and like their loved ones can be deported and, and things like that and it would hurt, you know, the, the, their loved ones. So some of them, they just don't want to talk about it because they're really scared. Sí, también lo mismo, porque hay personas que creen que contando su historia pueden, que las personas que, porque venían huyendo de Honduras, ellos creen que esas personas van a venir a buscarlos a ellos para hacerles lo malo que les hacían en Honduras. Por ejemplo, yo tengo una amiga que eso me dice y yo le digo que no tengan miedo, que le diga a alguien lo que está pasando, lo que tiene miedo, que lo diga para que se salga ese miedo que tiene ella. She said um, the same thing like Yashua said, a lot of people are very scared that the people that were, you know, doing bad things and they're going to come here and find them and, and, you know, try to get them to be quiet to talk about what was happening there. Like, for example, I have a friend and she's very, very scared to tell her story. And, and I tell her, it's okay to tell your story because then you could take this fear from inside of you and you're able to share so people can understand what you're going through. Wow, great advice. Te da buen buen consejo a tu amiga. Maddie? Hi, Ashley. Hi, We can tell that education seems important to you. Why might some immigrant students want to drop out of school? Um, sabiendo que, sabiendo que la educación es importante para ti, ¿por qué hay niños inmigrantes que no están indo para la escuela? Oh, porque a veces ellos no van a las cortes y como no pueden ir a buscar a la escuela, ellos tienen miedo a que los entren en la escuela y también por la discriminación que pasa en la escuela. En la escuela a veces ellos se desesperan también tanto tiempo estar en la escuela y estar en una parte que no entienden absolutamente nada. You said it's different reasons, like the reason um, sometimes one of the young people may miss court. So if they go to school, they believe because the court already know where their school is at, that they're going to send somebody to arrest them in school. So that makes them leave because they don't want to be found. Um, and then sometimes some young people have really hard times in school and they don't understand. It takes them a long time to learn and go through this process and they get um, frustrated and they just leave. Y yo creo que esos niños no van a la escuela porque ellos creen que vienen a este país porque dicen, ellos se meten en un plan que solo venimos a trabajar, no vamos a estudiar, no vamos a hacer nada porque si entramos a ese a un colegio o a escuela vamos, vamos a ser discriminados, vamos a tener siempre el bullying, no hablamos en inglés, somos diferentes a ellos. Cosas así. Some of them, she said, some of them just, and then there's some young people that they come here and they just want to make money because they just been poor and they never really had money. So they come here with the intention to go to school and they don't want to go through like going through being bullied or being discriminated or being scared. So they think that they're making money is the fastest thing and that's what they come and do. But she said that, you know, they, they everybody, they have a different reason. It shows such amazing character and perseverance that you guys, for what you've been through, and you still <coughs> are saying, those are understandable reasons why some kids want to drop out, but it's amazing that you guys stay. And actually, 
ella entiende por qué ustedes tienen tanta sabiduría, porque el otro niño no está y que tú, ustedes todavía tienen la valentía de seguir estudiando y sabiendo eso. Es muy bonito. Actually, um, Bethany. Hi. Um, I was wondering, what keeps you guys from dropping out of school? ¿Por qué ustedes no salen de la escuela? Porque yo quiero superar mi vida, yo quiero ser alguien en la vida, quiero superarme y quiero también poder, como usted grande, poder ayudar a mí. You said, because I want to make something better of my life and that um, I, I want to be able to do that with my education. And because I know that if I continue this, mm -hmm. I'm able to later on turn around and help my mother when I'm older. Yo no salgo de estudiar porque el estudio siempre me ha gustado y, y vine también a este país con una meta sobre salir y hacer alguien y enseñar y, de, y los, demostrarle a mi papá que yo no vine a jugar, vine a, a crecer a este país con tantas oportunidades que hay y tengo que valorar las oportunidades que hay aquí. She said, because um, I, I, all, one, I like school, and two, she said that um, because uh, I came here to do better, and that because I always was told that there's a lot of opportunities, now that I'm here, I can't let those opportunities go, and that I need to show my dad that I didn't come here to play and not to do something in my life, and that if I have these opportunities, then I need to go and grab on to it and do something and prove them that I'm grateful for being here. We have to applaud that. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, very admirable, and and you're teaching us so much. Um, um, the next, Alana. You were told um, that some kids don't go to their court date. Um, why would they do that, and are you going to show up? Um, nosotros hablamos que los niños no van para corte y por qué ellos hacen eso y si usted va a ir a su corte. Ellos no van a su corte por miedo a que ellos lo deporten para su país y a veces en sus países ellos tienen problemas, los están buscando o tienen miedo de volver a su país. Pero yo voy a ir a corte porque yo no tengo miedo de volver a mi país. Um, he said a lot of kids have fear that they don't understand the system and they just think if they go to court they're going to be arrested and deported right away and some of them are really um, scared to go back to their country. But I'm going to go to my court because I believe that I have to follow the system that's set before me and that if I have to go back then that's what the judge decides. Los niños que no van a corte es porque tienen miedo y por miedo a la deportación y yo voy yo voy a seguir yendo a mis cortes también y si me tienen que deportar pues voy orgullosamente de estar ahí en este país y ver todos los logros que se pueden hacer y si regreso voy a regresar sí voy a tener miedo porque la delincuencia está bastante dura en Honduras cosas así she said um, I'm gonna I, a lot of kids don't go back because they're very scared. Uh, I will go to my court if it's decided that I have to go back. But while I'm here, I'm going to do everything that I can to get the education that I need. Um, you know, I will, you know, it's my country. I have to go back. I will be proud to be back in my country. But I would really be scared because there's a lot of um, um, gangs and things happening bad in my country. So I do fear that. Olivia? Hi guys, do you have any plans to send back? No. No. ¿Y tú? Si sí, regreso a Honduras, ahora uh -huh. sí tengo un plan. No. Volver y seguir mi estudio, aunque sea duro, pero vuelvo a seguir mi estudio en Honduras. She said, if I go back, um, I will still continue going to school, even though I know that it, it could be life-threatening and it could be hard, but I know that I have to continue studying. Uh, no sé. ¿Qué tú me dijiste? 
Oh, volver a venir. <laughs> so Yashua said, if I get sent back, I know it, it's hard. We had a conversation. We read the questions before. And his, his true answer, his true-hearted answer was, if they send me back, I'll be very honest. I will come right back because I want to be here and I want to um, be, do better with my life. He said, and Arani said, I would also go back through the same journey yeah, to be here again. And he also said, I read, he said, I've already been through it once, so you know, um, I have the strength to go through it again. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Savannah? Hi, um, Yashua and Yurini. What would it mean to you to stay in the U.S.? ¿Qué significa si ustedes pueden quedar así, tú te vas a quedar en los Estados Unidos? Significa una mejor oportunidad para mi vida y un mejor futuro para mi familia. It would mean a, a, a great opportunity for my life and also a better future for my family. Y sería una gran oportunidad también y so, um, sería una gran oportunidad de estar aquí en este país y lograr lo que siempre soñé sobresalir y crecer y ser una gran psicóloga. Uh, it would be a great opportunity for me to be here and be able to pursue my dream in becoming a psychiatrist. That would be wonderful. Hi, Joshua. Hi, Ernie. What can we do to advocate for your cause? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Thanks, Ernie. What can we do to advocate your cause? Oh, ¿Qué podemos hacer para hablar sobre tus causas, sobre apoyar a ustedes? ¿Qué puede hacer? Eh, mandar cartas al juez diciéndole que no me deporte. <laughs> He said, you have to sign a petition to the judge to not deport us. <laughs> <laughs> And Rainey said the same thing. ¿Y la comunicación con los demás? Oh, no, mandar, tenemos un grupo que se llama Jóvenes Latinos Unidos y mandar cartas a nosotros para que nos optimizamos. So, um, Yasha and Arani are leaders of a group here in our, in our organization that's called Jóvenes Latinos Unidos, means Young Latinos United, and that he said that y'all, the way y'all reached out to them to talk to them, just to showing like a care letter and saying, you know, we believe in you and that you know that you're not bad people. It sometimes it takes like the young girl that has fear to be here and share. <laughs> Knowing that somebody else out there care for them, it's really important because the morale in that group, it's it's it, you know, they cry and they share their stories. So just to know that y'all are caring, like what y'all did here means a lot to them. That's the least we could do. We uh, we will absolutely do that for you guys. Absolutely. Allie. I like your scarf, Allie. Uh, thank you. <laughs> If you had any wish in the world, what would it be? If I had any wish in the world, what would it be? I would have been in college and I would have been able to be what I have wanted to be. Tener un, ser un doctor. Uh, mine would be to graduate from college and become a doctor. Mi mayor deseo es demostrar a mis padres que logré ser lo que deseé y seguir graduarme de college, llegar a, llegar a ser lo que saqué de college y ser una gran psicóloga. Um, she said, my greatest wish would be to be able to show my parents that I, I was able to accomplish what I always promised them, that I'm going to finish my studies and I'm, a, I'm going to graduate college and that I'm going to be one of the greatest psychiatrists that we ever had. I think you guys are going to be the ones to grant that wish for yourselves, for sure. <laughs> he said when he becomes a doctor, he'll make sure he gives out all of the popsicles to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Joshua. <laughs> uh, we have one more from the students. I'm Luke. Hi. Hi, I'm Luke. 
Is there anything else you want to tell us? Algo más usted le quiere decir a ellos. Gracias por escucharnos y gracias porque ustedes han leído nuestra historia. He said thank you for reading my story and taking interest and thank you for talking to us. Gracias por escucharnos y ofrecernos un espacio para oír nuestra historia, nos, nuestras historias y gracias por interesarse por oírnos. Uh, she said thank you for, uh, you know, reading the story and being interested in and in learning more about it and just giving us this forum to be able to talk and being able to share with y'all. We have to thank you guys. This is amazing. You can tell your story as hard as it was to get us to realize and have a deeper understanding of what you've gone through and what happens even today. So I would like to ask, uh, hey y'all, I would like to ask um, maybe later in your own time when your teacher's there and y'all like recapping the conversation and what you learned and if there's any further questions to let us know because sometimes when we hear things and then we're able to sit down and we're like, wow, I wanted to ask this and we know that time is very short. Um, but if there's any questions from y'all that y'all want to ask us here in New Orleans, um, there's so many other young people that are going through the same thing, and it's really hard to be able to continuously support. So if y'all have any other questions or, you know, like, and go home and share these stories with your parents, because sometimes um, our parents have a different view, and it's really important for us to share, like, I met somebody from that country. I heard their story and coming from you it means a lot when you educate more people because sometimes when they vote on laws and they vote on things it's what makes it harder for them to be here but if you educate so you have a, a big task ahead of you to go home and share what you learned and talk to your parents about it and you know if there's anything that that we can do and to answer more questions we're more than happy to do so. What a great lesson. Do you have any questions for us? Algunas preguntas se las tiene para ella? No. Si es muy fría allá. Oh, sí, sí. Ajá. No, ya sé que es muy fría allá, pero... ¿Cómo se llama la parte en que está? You want to know what, what city y'all in? And uh, he knows it's cold there, but he said, what city are y'all in? <laughs> well, we live in Colton, New York, which is the very, very top of New York. It's very cold right now, and there's a lot of snow. It's cool yeah, it's about six degrees. <laughs> <laughs> and Irene, want to know, is there any Latino in your school? No? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> she said one day she'll come visit y'all. And that would be awesome. We would love that. And um, I wanted to ask too, Yashua, how did your biology test go? How your biology? Sorry about the biology. <laughs> Was it tough? It sounded tough. Sí, fue duro. Thank you, Liz. It was in English. It was hard. That would be that sounds that would sound really tough. Um, we're also we also want to say too if we could maybe contact you again at the end of the year to see how your school year went and so we can we're not done with you guys yet we want to follow you and, and know what's going to happen. Seguir con ustedes para ver cómo. So Arani is playing soccer so she's going to have a game Sunday so everybody wish her good luck in her game Sunday. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and and so they're excited about that, and and Arani's also um, part of her cheerleading group at um, in her school, and Yashua is playing, you know, the English new component that he's going to teach the entire school. So <laughs> we're going to see how that goes, and they are working on a bullying campaign and how to communicate and make situations better in their school. So we'll definitely let y'all know how that goes. Yeah, you guys definitely have, they've chosen good, two great leaders, obviously, to be a part of the group. Thank y'all so much. Thank you very much. Everyone give a round of applause. Be in contact soon. All right, Bye. thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 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 <laughs>